50. And we've got northeast winds sustained at 20 to 30 miles per hour. We'll continue to have winds gusting 35 to maybe 45 miles per hour, especially right near the bay and lake as we move through the night into tomorrow. And then by tomorrow afternoon, we'll start to see the winds diminish as the system continues to slowly work off towards the east. So once again, we're looking at a lakeshore flood warning here for Oconto County and Brown County. We've had numerous reports of lakeshore flooding today. Not only lakeshore flooding, but the water piling up in the lower bay and then moving south upstream the Fox River, the East River, Swamico River, Duck Creek, uh, producing additional flooding. We have a lakeshore flood advisory here for Menominee and Mary Marinette County, and then also Door County down to Sheboygan County. Uh, these remain in effect as we head into the evening hour. So with that lake shore, for, uh, lake shore flood warning, uh, watch out for the potential of flooding along the shoreline of Lake Michigan and Green Bay. We've already been seeing this throughout the morning and afternoon. And be alert for rising water and shoreline erosion. As I mentioned, we also have flooding upstream, the Fox, and adjoining creeks and rivers. Uh, that attach to the lower bay, and for that reason, we do have a flood warning here for uh, parts of Brown County. As far as the rain is concerned, it's beginning to wind down. We had heavy rain for much of the night, many spots picking up two to three to four inches of rain, and that was without any thunder or lightning. That's pretty impressive to have that amount of rain with no thunderstorms, and you can see here the rain continues, but it's more scattered and it's much lighter. This rain will continue on and off throughout the the evening and into tonight and actually into tomorrow morning as well before the system finally pivots off towards the east. It's a strong area of low pressure located across northern Indiana, just transporting a ton of Gulf of Mexico moisture north into our region, and that's why we've had all the rain. Meanwhile, off to the north and west, we've got high pressure building in across Minnesota, north and south Dakota, and where we have lots of sunshine, it's 